Generic greetings! I was just going through my Steam list and I stumbled across this Game Dev Tycoon. It's essentially a tycoon game where you make your own games development studio and you will create games, research different stuff, hire staff and even go into console development and things like that. It's something that I have enjoyed highly throughout the years and it is quite a number of years old now. In fact, I think it's four or five years old, something like that. I remember doing a series on the game many, many years ago and I... I have not played it for at least a couple of years and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. So I thought I'm going to sit down with a beverage and enjoy it for a little bit. Today's beverage is... Ah, crushed summer fruits. Very nice and very refreshing drink, although it's very, very sugary. Anyway, so as I said, I haven't played this in over a couple of years now. I forgot most of what the game really brought. I don't really know how to play it. I know you just click. I know you left click and it says you can develop a new game, and that's pretty much all I know. I think, I think you can do research as well, and you have to, like, fix bugs. Yeah, most of it's lost in the annals of time. However, I'm sure I'll pick it up very, very easily. One of the things I remember them adding was... Um, when it originally came out, you had different matches and combos with the genres and themes and styles, and you didn't really know what those were. You had to really go on the wiki and print out a big list, which is something that I did do back in the day. But now they've done it so you can import your previous save experience, and it will show you the matches in-game. So it's it's there's a reason to play it more to get the matches in-game, and also it uh, gives you a nice little help, which is quite cool. Anyway, so this is our game dev studio. We have... A DeLorean underneath a tarp. I wonder if it's full of drugs like the other DeLoreans. And uh, <laughs> it's not the case. I think there was something with John DeLorean and a big sort of smuggling operation. I can't remember what the deal was. Anyway, so this is our... Um our uh, development guy. This is uh, Player Generics, and this is our game dev studio called. Well, we can't see the nameplate because we don't have a nameplate on here. But this is um, Generic Developments. We have not yet created any games, but I think we are going to do that. So we'll just click a Develop a New Game, and we've now got a tutorial. And I really don't care. Okay, right? Can we can we close that? There we go. So we need to have a game concept. So we get a topic, a genre, and a platform. So I'm going to pick our topic, and I'm going to say, well, it's randomised. What we start with so we've got ufo business post-apocalyptic and medieval let's go for post-apocalyptic and we're going to go with probably a action game and that's a great combo as you can see and we'll put it on the pc and that gives us uh, plus two uh, it's, it's plus plus for action but we actually get better for simulation and strategy can we change that to simulation uh oh terrible combo post-apocalyptic simulation apparently okay um i would have thought that would have done quite well considering today's climate of having a lot of those games out doing quite well. Um, I guess we'll go post-apocalyptic RPG and uh, that's only plus plus. Uh, if we say strategy, it's not a terrible combo, not a good combo. I guess we'll go for a post-apocalyptic action game. I'm going to call it um, After the Bomb. Bombs. After the bombs, because you have to have a Z on the end in capitals as well. At least that was that that was it was well like that a couple of years ago. Everything had a Z on the end because they were trying to uh, you know profit off DayZ. But hey ho, uh, we'll go for next, and then you can say text based or two D graphics. It takes a I don't think I think it takes more time, but it also costs more money. So two D graphics version one, ten K, and that'll cost fifteen so far. And we'll start the development, and you've got you've got like different um, you got different. Okay, right. I, I you know what I. I settings, uh, tutorials, um, uh, only show new tutorials, uh, disabled tutorials, thank you, there we go, right, cool, go it, go it, go it, I don't, uh, yep, yeah, uh, thank you, right, so, um, we've got the development stage one, two, and three, so development stage one, we have to set our engine gameplay and story time, so, like, how much time do you want to devote to each one, so, engine is plus, 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 with an unknown modifier, the gameplay is plus, plus, and unknown modifier, what that means is that, um, a post-apocalyptic, we know you get benefit from the action, but the act, uh, so you get benefit from the engine, but the action bit, we don't know, uh, so I'm gonna put engine maxed out, gameplay middling, and quests down to zero, and we'll probably put it like there and you can see the time allocation preview so it's fairly good for engine the gameplay is middling and then almost nothing for the story and quest so we'll click ok and then we'll go to the next one as I said, I haven't played it in quite a while, but I also, I, I, it's all coming back, you know, after a couple of made games I'm sure it'll be straight back in so I don't need the tutorials, it's just gonna slow things down. Hmm. 
Development stage two, similar sort of deal. Uh, we're going to put artificial intelligence up. We're going to put dialogues right down to the bottom and then level design at about there. And this all feeds into how good the game will be at the end. Um, so this has got like three different stages. I know a lot of people, uh, when I do... When I do... Uh, videos on Software Inc. A lot of people say, "Oh, you should play Game Dev Tycoon. Um, it's very similar." Actually, it's not. It's it, they've got very little in common, other than the the rough theme of things. Um, but even then, you know, it's it's the gameplay is completely different. This is, I find it very relaxing. It's very very. I don't like to use the term addictive because I don't think that I don't think the term addictive is should be used positively in most cases or in any case really. But. Um, it's got that very easy going, very, very uh, stimulating sort of nice poppy bubbles going into this and you can see stuff happening and it's very, very, um, I wouldn't say cutesy, but it's uh, sort of, it's got that just one more game type thing going for it where it's not too hard on the eyes, it's not too hard on the brain, you don't have to really stress over anything and it's very, very stimulating and rewarding. Just watch all the bubbles go up there and you make your game and then you go to the next one and you just keep going. Whereas Software Inc. is, you know, really about the management and the building and loads of other facets to it. It's a lot more complex game. Anyway, so we'll finish this. So this is after the bombs and we'll see it is a 9 out of design and 17 out of technology. We get some experiences, which is good, and we get a bonus to the experience game because it's a new combo we've never done this before and you can see we get experiences and engine story things like that for the developers and whatnot and there's play generics uh, level going up and we can trash the game or we can release it i'm going to release it obviously and there you go so game review the first reviews for our new release game is out so here we go this is going to be a an eight love it from star games very very good we have a seven which is enjoyable from informed gamer and seven, the fox and artificial intelligence saved this game very well. Yeah. It did serve it very well. And also seven, nice experience from all games. Excellent, right, so that is good. We can now do research, game history, generate game report. Let's generate a game report on ah, uh, we'll probably wait until that's We'll probably wait until the incomes and stuff sort. When you when you uh, generate a game report, this is one of the new things that was added, you uh you get like reviews of it and uh, you get information of it so like the combos and stuff so this is some news here generic productions a newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game after the bombs the game received favorable reviews excellent with such good start generic productions are shooting again fans quickly and you get fans in the game which then increase the amount of money you can make and blah 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 so we'll go to research and we've got uh, the new topic for 10 research points or custom game engine for 50 i'm cannot research the game engine because i don't have the research points of only got the 16 so we'll go for new topic and we'll go for racing and we'll start the research and he will go hmm how do you race right first we need something to race and then we need something to race against Yep, that's pretty much all we need to know about racing. So the first week of sales after the bombs sold 4,946 generic units in its first week on the market. We made the chart at number 29. Excellent. After the bombs were so successful, we now have 29 fans. Yes, and they're going to be knocking the door down for a sequel that we can't make because we don't have the technology for sequels yet because that's a research. So research complete. You have successfully researched the new topic racing. So what we'll do, we'll go to develop new game. And we'll say racing, and we'll say it is going to be a simulation game, great combo, and we'll put that on PC. You can see there's the G64, which is supposed to be the Commodore 64, but I'm not going to put that on there because I know that this goes bankrupt in a couple of years anyway. If you, uh, It does follow a rough real-life timeline for certain things. Uh, so, we'll, um, we're going to call this um, Need for Speed. Next. So, text-based or <laughs> 3D graphics text-based. You turn left. Good. You turn right. Happen left! Oh, God! You are going very quickly. You crash into a hedge. Oh, um, that's not good. The car sets on fire. Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> it's, I guess it would be worse if it was a text. If it was, uh, if it was 2D text. Uh, 2D text? If it was 2D graphics rather than text. <laughs> would you want to see all of that? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, so, need for speeds. Uh, racing simulation game. Uh, so obviously engine is going to benefit from it. Uh, gameplay highly and story. No, we don't need much of a story. So we'll go for uh, that, I think. There you go. Nice easy distribution. After the bombs has achieved a company sales record of over 10k units sold. Don't know how we're selling that because we haven't got a publisher. So assuming we're self-publishing this, which means we're going to have to produce all of the physical media. Um... <laughs> 
on our own in this garage. Hmm. Anyway, so we've got uh, the development stage two. Artificial intelligence needs to be maxed out. Level design, middling, and then dialogues we don't care about. And then we'll click next. There you go. As you progress on and research more stuff, and especially once you get your own engine, you can then put extra slots into this, which is good. Um, this is the same sort of stuff. In fact, there's the slots there. You can turn like things on and off. In this case, we've only got basic sounds. We've only got basic 2D graphics, so we can't alter that. So we'll go to next, and then develop. Hmm. Oh, God, that is a nice beverage. Right, and we'll just wait for the bugs to be ironed out. There you go. And uh, after the bombs is now off the market, sold 15,119 generic units uh, generating 105,846 generic units of currency in sales. Not bad at all. That is excellent. Right, so we'll just wait for the guys to polish the bugs off and put a couple more in design and click finish and let's get it out the door so this is need for speeds and it is new record in our design category and that's good we've got engine gameplay blah blah we're gonna left click and it'll speed it up we've got some more experience and we'll release the game then what i will do is go to generate game report and we'll do after the bombs and we'll select that and uh recent markets Studies suggest that the Govador 64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC. So you can release on the uh, Commodore, the Governor, sorry, Govador, sorry, sorry, not, not, not Commodore. Um, it might spell the end of... <laughs> of uh, competing hardware manufacturers. I don't think so. Yeah, so you can, uh, you can make software for that. You can make games for that, but in the long run, it's probably not going to serve you well. But also, I guess if you want to follow that market trend, then you can make early money. Anyway, so this is the uh, game report for our next game, and it is seven good game by Star Games. F six shows potential from Informed Gamer. Okay, okay. Six could have been better. Yeah, I guess I guess it could have been. Maybe maybe the name was too long to fit on the box. And enjoyable. Yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. Second game. Um, so we're gonna generate some research points from this thing, and we have now generated said points. Our post-release analysis after the bombs is complete, and we get the following results. Dialogue seem to be not important at all for this type of game. Okay. Uh, Need for Speeds is selling very well. As you can see, 6.2k sold already. We're going to go for Develop New Game, and we'll have a UFO strategy game. I don't know what combination that will be, but we'll go for a PC. I'm going to call it um, UFO in the... Oh, zzz. Zzz. <laughs> Next. Uh, 2D graphics. Why not? So this is um, where we're sort of in the unknown territory now. We don't really know a lot of what we need here. So you can see engine. Engine is needed. Gameplay. Well, story don't know. Gameplay not known. I reckon we'll hedge our bets on... I reckon we'll hedge our bets on that. Because we've never done UFO strategy before. In fact, there's very little strategy I've done in the game. I've not really made many strategy games, and because of that, I haven't done the report. AI is obviously going to be maxed out. I think that is fine for level design and dialogues. I think that would make sense for a strategy game, wouldn't it? I don't know if the combo of U UFOs uh, will actually work. According to Rubers, the Japanese company uh, <laughs> Nevento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nevento is known for the wildly successfully arcade game Dinky King. Now remember, this is a couple of years old now, so I'm guessing this game does not have the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch. I'm guessing it doesn't have any of those. I'm guessing all the the analogs of those, if you, you know, they're not going to have those named. But uh, I know it has like the the Xbox um, Spin 60 or whatever. You know, it has that. So uh, in the Game Station 3, I'm sure it has all of that. But because it hasn't been updated in a while, I'm guessing it doesn't have the the newer consoles, which uh, which shows its age a little bit. But uh, yeah. You, you can make your own consoles. If you make Steam machines, I, mean, I think I, actually I now that I think about it, it won't have anything to do with VR in the game, will it either? I don't think VR will be in this game at all. Anyway, uh, level, world design is low. I, I don't think. I think world design is going to be a very important part for a strategy game. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. There we go. See if that works out. This could be a terrible game. Although to be fair, if I remember rightly, your first couple of games, unless you really mess it up. 
you are going to do okay. And then your third or fourth game that you make just for some reason sells like hotcakes and then you're able to move into your new studio just because that's how the game's programmed. It's already predetermined really. So we'll release this thing and we've got a new record for the design there. Obviously there's some experience, artificial intelligence, the graphics have gone up. We'll release the game and then immediately we'll get generate a game report for need for speeds and then we'll see what good combos we've got. So First reviews for our new release game, UFO Invaders, has come in, and it's going to be seven. Beautiful, apparently. Excellent. That's 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 good. Uh, six shows potential from informed gamer. Left click and it'll speed us up. Eight, very good from Game Hero. And finally, enjoyable. Excellent. That's not bad. Well, we'll generate research points here, and we will get uh, hopefully enough. Yes, there's enough research points. Uh, oh, there we go. Look, there's the uh, the Tendo Entertainment System. Uh, that's fine. That's the the NES coming out. So world design seems to be not important for this type of game, apparently. Okay. So we'll go to research and we can say custom game engine and we'll start developing the game engine. Hi there, contract work. I've just finished UFO and Vidors and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business. Would like to use your skills. So essentially, if you don't want to develop a game and you just want to um, do some contract work like. Uh, design a database, produce a website, manage something, do some art assets, you know, all that sort of thing, and um, then you can crack on there. Uh, two player generics uh, from Patrick and Daniel Klug, uh, Greenheart Games, creators of the Game Dev Tycoon, would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game. Ah, oh. oh, that's very nice. Game Dev Tycoon is the very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With our purchase and support, little startup is hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future, which they are. Uh, they are bringing more games in the future. I can't remember what it is, um, but I think it's like a... Seriously, you rock. Thanks very much. Um, is it like a... Is it like a tavern type game? I know I went to the Greenheart Games website, uh, I think I stumbled across it a couple of months ago and I saw that they were developing another game, but I didn't pay much attention because they weren't due to release their game until next year sometime, so I thought, I'll care later. You know, far too much, far too long <laughs> to uh, really remember anything about that. Uh, so anyway, I've just managed to, I've just managed to, uh, uh, make a game engine, so I actually create my custom game engine, and you can see the stuff I can uh, implement into this. So save games, linear story, 2D graphics. So it's going to be the G engine. No, we're not going to put Z on it. Uh, version one. So it's got 2D graphics, version two, linear story, and save game. Uh, it's going to cost uh, 90k, but we've got enough money to hopefully create that, and we'll crack on. So you can see it's 55 remaining, and it takes some time just putting all of this in. Obviously, when you go for um, a bigger studio, then you will have a lot more people working on it, but then it also it artificially increases the bar. It's very... It, it is... I don't know, some people will find this monotonous. Some people will find it fine just sit and relax and watch the bubbles pop up there and get, like, you know, enjoy the rewards of doing it. It really depends on what mood I'm in. You know, if I want something more complicated, I'll go for, you know, well, anything else, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, if I want something about software development, game development, I'll go for like Game Dev Tycoon or whatever. Uh, uh, software Inc. rather. If I want some, and then, but then there's things like this where I go, you know what, just give it a go. Anyway, develop a new game finally. Uh, so we'll go for topic... Medieval. RPG. Mm, action game. Simulation. Okay combo. Action game. What about a business simulation game? Business simulation, business adventure game. I don't think that would work. Um, let's go for medieval action game on the PC on the G Engine One. It's going to be called um, Swords and Swords and Shields. Next, uh, oh, here we go, 2D graphics version 2, more expensive but better, and then we'll start. So, we'll uh, have linear story and save game. Now, when you get the, uh, these features here, they do take time to develop. Um, and when you get later game engines, you have to assign different people, like project leaders, for these, which is important. So... Um, at the moment we don't need to bother, but I remember later on that you have to assign different people to it and uh, make sure that there's like good load balancing and not to burn people out because otherwise it will affect the progress. So it does introduce new mechanics as the game progresses on. Looks like the uh, the Tez has been released, there we go. 
Apparently they call it the entertainment system because of the video game crash from Atari. Well, not from Atari, but the whole video crash that flawed Atari after the old E.T. thing. Um, they didn't want to call it a games console because they thought it might not sell. And so they call it the entertainment system. Smart move, I guess. So anyway, uh, a lot of bugs in this thing. But it is now pretty much done. We'll just iron out the uh, problems there and see if he wants to put any more in design technology. Doesn't look like it. We'll click finish. And luckily, sometimes when you click finish, by the time you click finish, you can get a bug going in there. It's really, really annoying. And if you have a bug, you can either spend time to patch it out or if you've got like a distribution system, you can easily iron it out. But that's very late game. So there's our level design all going up, the 2D graphic you can see and the bonus we get. And then we'll release it. What we'll do, so new research available, game tutorials and mono sound. One of the things I, I did not like with the game is that when it comes to research you've got these things like game tutorials and in order to put these into your engine you have to make a new engine which was just really annoying and also because of the speed in which stuff was released you would never truly have an engine that was right on the bleeding edge because you can't add bits to the engine because you'd have to create a brand new engine, which is not how it works. You know, a new piece, a new something would come out, and it would, you know, you would not rewrite your entire engine to include save games. You'd not rewrite your entire engine to slightly upgrade the sound from version three to four, which is really annoying. But uh, hey ho, let's do a a um, game dev report on this thing. And uh, first reviews from our new release game, Swords and Shields, come in. I'm going to guess this is going to be a 9 or 10 par excellence. Okay, I was wrong. Um, <laughs> I thought the game was going to fling the, uh, the next level at me, essentially. So we're going to go for 7s across the board, are we? No. We had an 8 there. Oh well. So we didn't get that massive uh, hike, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, so it looks like post-release analysis of UFO, UFO Invaders complete. UFO and strategy, great combination. Sounds to be, seems to be quite important for this type of game. Okay, develop new game. Actually, no, we'll pick a new topic. We'll research and new topic and we'll go for dun oh, zombies? Oh, you know what? I'm done with zombies. Uh, <laughs> dungeon. We'll go for dungeon. We'll research dungeon. Yeah, I, zombies. No, I just, <laughs> I'm zombied out. I can't take any more zombies in games. I really can't. Uh, right. So there's that researched. Uh, we could research something else. See what we've got. New topic. Martial arts. No, we're not going to bother. So we're going to make develop a new game. It's going to be a dungeon strategy game. Great combo. On the PC now we don't want to put it on Tez because you can see it's un strategies unknown we don't know adventure negative action positive RPG positive simulation positive but PC you can see strategy got plus threes on that so we'll pick our engine there we go and we're gonna call it um... hang on <laughs> the not dungeon ki kippers or keppers it's gonna be called dungeon keepers Next, uh, 2D graphics version 2, and this is probably the one that uh, gets us into the next level. So story and quest, nothing. Gameplay will reduce a little bit. I reckon the gameplay matters more than the engine, but it doesn't tell me that. As I said, when the game first came out, it didn't tell you a lot of this stuff, and the only real way to do well was to download the, the, the pre-built lists that uh, was on the wiki and other places. And um, I remember printing it out and stuff, looking at it, and there's a huge chart, especially when it comes to uh, combinations of uh, themes as well as genres on particular hardware. It was just ooh, it was all over the place. So I reckon sound design and um, sound design, I think world design would be very, you, you need world design for strategy, surely. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And uh, we've got... Fairly decent in technology, look at that. It looks like swords and shields off the market. Sold 23,000 units. That's okay. We've got 142k in the bank. Uh, we'll just wait for these bugs to get ironed out. Uh, technology is quite high. The technology will go up incrementally uh, based on our technology um, in the 
in the engine. The more, you know, the, the better the engine you have, the more technology will go up, and the design will go up as well, but for some parts. So we'll release that game, and we will do a generate game report, sword and shields, and uh, let's just see if we get 10 out of 10s, 9s out of 10s. It's, it's close to it. I think we're going to get it soon. It's making a lie around me, this game, innit? Although there's a nine, almost perfect from Informed Gamer. Uh, sorry, good game from Star Games as well. Eight, love it from Game Hero. And come on, can we get a ten? Can we get a ten? Nine, can't wait for the sequel. Uh, that might be it. That might be the one that triggers our next uh, thingy. It's, uh, three units, four thousand. No, uh, no. So it looks like we don't have that. Let's go for research, game tutorials, and our mono sound. Let's see if we make another engine. Actually, Dungeon Keepers is selling quite well. Look at that. Very well indeed. Um, almost surpassed our previous game sales in the first month. Um, research once more. Now I've got Mono Sound. Go for game tutorials. And look at that. 23 units. 23,000 units, rather. So doing well. Uh, 610 fans. Not bad. So we'll finish that one. There is our research completer rated on game tutorials. We'll go to create, uh, not game report, we'll go for um, create custom engine. We want all of this stuff in and we're going to have to call it the Genjin version 2. As I said, this is the annoying part where you have to make a brand new engine just to put tutorials in it. You can't sort of um, add it in. Hey ho. So that's all going in. Getting decent research points from making game engines as well. I think there was times when I would just make game engines. I would have a team making game engines just because you get research points off it. <laughs> but now you can do uh, reports and stuff, so that's fine. Um, you saw we made a bit of money there from our from our um, last game, but we're only at 90k because I'm, I'm sort of bleeding money. Recent studies suggest the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger uh, no, younger audiences. Ah, right. So now we have the availability of target audience. So we can target young, uh, mature or adult, I believe it's called, in the game. Uh, we'll have to research that, though. So we might. We might. Let's do that. Um, so... Looks like achievement, 100k, right? I, I'm sure I'll have I've had that in, uh, before. It's not a Steam achievement though, so maybe that's why, because I've reinstalled it. So if we go to research, target audience, we'll research that. If this has to be put in the engine, uh, it's going to be really, really annoying. Also, I'm going to have to make another game very soon, otherwise I'm uh, bankrupt. Hmm. God, that is a nice beverage. Right, so there's that completed, and we will now go to develop new game. Ah, yes, so it's young, everybody, and mature. So we're going to pick a topic of business. S business adventure game? Why? Why would I do that on the G Engine 2? Um, business simulation game? <laughs> mature, perhaps? Mature, so it's going to call um, Office Space. <laughs> there we go. 2D Graphics Version 2. And, uh, oh, good grief. Yep, so this is going to... Uh, okay, game tutorials. Uh, pull the engine down a bit, and that should do us. Yeah, I'm going to go bankrupt, aren't I? Yep, there we go, look. Uh, so I will... I will I will loan... I, I'll take a loan out... <laughs> I've got a loan now. Oh god. Uh, please just develop faster. Develop faster. Come on. I don't think I've ever went bankrupt in the basement. Uh, there's the um, there's the Sega Mega Drive. Mm. So it's not the Mega Drive, it's a master system. Uh, mono sound. Graphics up there. Pull level design down. Sound down a bit. There we go. Oh god, it's so close! Uh, looks like we'll give an interview from this thing. Uh, and this gives us extra fans and... Oh my good grief. No, just come on! Come on! Finish the game! Finish the game! There's some hype. I'm gonna have to release it. Finish, get rid of the bugs. One, two, three. Go, 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 go! Ship it, ship it, ship it! <laughs> I might go bankrupt. Oh god, this is so close. Oh, minus 49.7! Oh god! 
I don't have a pot to piss in. Come on. Oh, it's not going to do too good either. Oh, no. Well, it's going to save me from bankruptcy, I think. Come on. Uh, yes, it saved me from bankruptcy. But not really taking me to the next level. Ooh, it's settled all right. Anyway, that is a bit of Game Dev Tycoon. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's exactly how I remember, really. It's um, it got several flaws in it, although not as much as when I first played it because of the introduction of uh, g giving you the information for the combos and stuff like that. That's a much better thing. But um, it still means that if you play it new, you won't have any clue, and that's it's not great. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's an enjoyable little thing. Links in the description, as always, so you can check it out yourself if you do so desire. It's uh, yeah, it's all right. It's one of the things that uh, you just stumble across in your Steam list and go, oh yeah, I remember that thing. Give it a go, and it's fine. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.